Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Victory at last. Satan exposes Nigerians behind Boko Haram. The Satan of Sokoto, Halaji Sadi Abubakar, has exposed the forces behind Boko Haram insurgents. The Satan said the insecurity is a problem the country is facing. He acknowledged the fact that Nigerians have failed to listen to the messages in the Bible and Quran and continue to do bad things. The Sultan stated that insecurity is part of the punishment of the sins of citizens of the country. He revealed that the sins of the people of the country contributed to the country challenge and that the things will change once Nigerians channel and change and embraces positivity. He blamed Nigerians for not obeying God, hence they are being punished. Boko Haram insurgents have stepped up in the attack on Nigerians, including security agencies. Unless Nigerians repair, re retrace their steps, they will have this problem because they have disobeyed God. Well, the Satan has spoken, saying Nigerians have um, disobeyed God, both Christians and Muslims, and that's why this is happening, that um, Nigerians need to retrace their step and go back to God so that they can be changed, so that um, the evil plague in um, Nigeria, which is the insecurity situation, can be turned around. So Nigerians have... Um, so the Satan is attributing what is happening to Nigeria as a result of, um, you know, Nigerians not obeying the Bible or the Quran, that Nigerians need to retrace their step, they need to repent, and they need to go back to God so that they can be, um, you know, they can have peace again in the country. The Satan is saying what is happening to Nigerians is an is a evil plague in Nigeria, um, but really, He's not really said who expose. He has not really exposed those behind Boko Haram. What are they doing? How are they getting the money? How are they getting the funds? But I will tell you, there are people in Aso Rock, in the presidential villa, sponsoring this Boko Haram. There are people giving them the ammunitions meant for the government. There are people, you know, meant for um, the police, the army, and the navy. You know, there are people giving them what is meant for Nigerians. There are also international houses that are sponsoring this evil. What they are doing is that they want to Islamize Nigeria, and so they are propagating this their agenda, and they don't mind killing Nigerians, you know. They don't mind killing Nigerians. Look at what Boko Haram are doing all over the nations of the world. Yet, your Senate sat down and want to pass a bill. Kill, repent, and be free. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine that by your Senate sitting down to say kill, repent, and be free? Can you imagine what Nigerians, what your Nigerians, that's to tell you, those are the people sponsoring the Boko Haram. These are the people sponsoring Boko Haram in Nigeria. They are the ones sponsoring this evil. They boldly come out. It's only in Nigeria that they cannot be probed, you know, and investigated and the truth of this matter. They, we, we get to the bottom of what they are really doing in this country. We need to rise up, we need to wake up, and we need to speak against this evil that is prevailing in our nation. We need to speak up against it. Those that are, that are perpetrating, perpetrating this act, those of you in government from the south, from the south-south, from the southeast, you know, other than the north, can't you gather evidence and prove to the international world that this is what is going on in Nigeria so that the government can be brought to justice? But you will just stay there, collect money, Collect allowances, they buy you new cars, and you all keep quiet. Look at what is happening in Delta, Edo, Ekiti. They were exposed, they were caught. You know what happened in Ekiti, they were caught. But this is what is happening really and truly in, in, in and around, the, around Nigeria, where evil is prevailing. It's like it's a fun field day. They are, having their, they are having a good time. But we need to wake up. We need to speak against this evil. 
you and I need to speak against this evil. You and I need to rise up and not allow evil to prevail. You and I need to, you need to, need to declare and say to Nigerians, enough is enough. We need to speak up and say enough is enough. We need to alert the international community of what they are doing to us in Nigeria. We can't keep quiet and allow evil to, to continue in this country. Do you know people that are dying daily? Do you know people in the north alone? Do you know how many children are out of school? Do you know how many women have become widows? Do you know how many men have become widowers? Do you know how many children have no one to look after them? Because we all keep quiet and nobody speaks and really say the truth of what is happening. But you and I need to rise up. You and I need to speak up against this evil. You and I need to allow the government not to, not to override us. We need to let them know that we, have, we know what's happening. One of the ways you can do this is by liking, sharing, subscribing. When you do this, you allow the news to travel. The international world, they check online. They have monitors. They have uh, you know, uh, robots that watches and pick up keywords to examine what is going on in each country and they're able to detect and able to pick what is going on. Look at a kitty state. The people noticed that there were some strange faces enter entering the town. Ten of them, they entered the town, they came with their weapons, they entered into a kitty state, intending to kill the people of a kitty. But thank God, they quickly raised an alarm. They called on the, call on the security and the police came immediately. The police came, they arrested the guys. Guess what? They were fully armed. The guys were fully armed. The police was able to quickly, you know, take them to the police station. But they are saying that they want to, they want to um, investigate them and find, find out who they are, that they might be hunters and all that. That is them saying their own words. That is them trying to make it mal. But that's exactly what is going on in the country. Yet yeah, evil is prevailing in broad daylight. Yet yeah, the Senate, they sat down. The Senate sat down and all they, they sat down to discuss was how to say to Boko Haram, kill repent and be free they want to pass out a law that exonerates boko haram that allows them to carry out their evil with nobody questioning them so when they come out and they say i'm no longer at boko haram they are they say they said they have been freed and the and the government will give them job they will enable them enhance them to carry out their evil this is what is happening in nigeria broad daylight broad daylight yet they said a woman killed her husband and they have sentenced her to death by hanging she killed her husband, one person. But Boko Haram kills thousands of people, but they are free. They can go on. They have been, they have been repentant. Can this woman not repent? Answer me. Can this woman as well not repent and be free? Have you not been following the news? They said a woman from the north, because her, her husband is connected to one senator. Her husband is the brother to one senator. They had a domestic argument in the house. And one thing led to the husband, led to the other, the, the husband died. They've, they've judged the case. She has children, you know, they don't care about the children being orphans. They said the woman should die by hanging. Can you see that? When it gets to their doorstep, when it gets to their footstep, then the woman, the, what they are doing is wrong. And the woman, the, the person has to be punished. But when it is Boko Haram, killing people that don't consign them, that uh, Boko Haram should be freed. They should kill, repent, and be freed. In fact, giving a job, in fact, allowed to move around. In Nigeria today, anything is a crime if they are not, if they are not part of it. But if they are part of it, it is not a crime. You know, if they are the ones carrying out this thing, then it is not a crime. But if they are not the ones carrying it, then it is a crime. You know, so <laughs> Nigerians, we need to wake up and know that this government, they are not out to to protect us. They are out for their self, for their pockets and for their interests. And we need to wake up. We need to not allow this evil prevail in our community and in our country. And please, those of you that are supporting politicians and carrying them on your neck, on your head, put the load down. They don't care about you. All they care about is themselves, is their money, is their pockets. They don't care anything about you. So my people, wake up, wake up, speak up against what is wrong. Don't allow them to carry out any evil against you. Please, please, make sure, make sure, make sure, I tell you, make sure you don't allow them to do evil around you. Whenever you see 
evil going on around you. Please, my people, wake up, report to the police. Even the police has been corrupted. Even the military and every one of them has been infected by this Boko Haram. That's what Buhari has gone ahead to do. He has gone ahead to, to allow them to join the government, to be part and parcel of the government, you know, to be part of the um, police force as well. God will help us in Nigeria. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so we can keep you up to date with all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye.